Hey everybody, Coach Chris here, Optimal Performance. So you're gonna be coming to pack and pick up over the next couple of days, either at Optimal Performance or at the hotel up by the race course, okay? So what, what you're gonna need to know is a couple things. Number one, what you need to bring. You need to bring a driver's license or a picture ID or some sort of thing that shows us that it's you and it's who you are, validates who you are. If you are a USAT annual member, you'll need to bring a USAT annual membership card. If you're not, don't worry about it, just bring your uh, driver's license or photo ID. Okay, so once you come here, you'll come to one of these bins that we have set up and you'll look for your last name in accordance to where it is and then what you'll say is, hey, I'm so-and-so and you'll produce your driver's license and card. And then what we will do is we will grab an envelope. Okay, it's a little bit different from what you've seen from other places. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up. So this is racer number 224, Jared Smith. So inside Jared's envelope is a couple of things. Number one, swim cap. Color-coded for his start wave. So if you are starting with people outside of that black cap, something's going wrong, then you're not in the right wave. You need to reevaluate, talk to a volunteer, find out what you're doing. You're also gonna have this large sheet of stickers, okay? This is, this is something we've done for the last couple of years, but it might be new to you. So what is on here? You have two stickers for family and friends. It says, I'm supporting. They wear that. So basically, that's who they're supporting. So they can put that on their shirt. The kids can put it on their hat, whatever it might be. You have your basic race number. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either stick them together, pop out the holes, and pin them to your shirt or pin them to your race belt like a normal race belt or a normal race number. Or what I like to do is I like to actually sandwich them on a race belt or a piece of elastic and then tie that around because then it will never fly off. If you've ever had Tyvek fly apart or come apart, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Swim cap numbers. Go on both sides of your swim cap. It's really special glue, so the sooner you put it on, uh, meaning that if you put it on before, like 30 seconds before you hit the water, the longer it's gonna last. So put, it, put your swim cap on, then put the numbers on, and that's the best way to have those on. Helmet number goes in the front of your helmet, so when bright room photography comes out and takes your photo, they know exactly who you are, so we can match the photos to you. This is for the saddle of your bike. So it goes on the seat post of your bike and flaps in the wind. You can see that this part goes around and then these meet, so you wrap it, it goes right onto your saddle. This is for a transition bag number. If you bring a bag and it's kind of like the airport, sometimes all the bags look the same. So there might be four or 500 tier bags out there. What we're gonna want is we're gonna want you to put your number on there so you mark it yourself. No one's gonna be able to take your bag. And if there's a dispute, then uh, we can call the cops and they can say, hey, it's my number 224 bag. They're gonna understand. Then you also have your uh, race bracelet. Now the race bracelet tells us a couple things. It tells us who you are, tells us your race number. So if there's a medical emergency, you can't talk to us and this is get lost. It tells us what your date of birth is and tells us where you're from. So we can know exactly what's going on. Um, it's very easy, you pull it apart, these sections break off in accordance to your size, that folds over and wraps around your wrist, all right? Also, what we have here is we have a free coupon for an Optum Health Performance class. So, we have a great studio in Eden Prairie, we suggest that you take that off, put it on a piece of paper, come up, and have a free one on us. This is your food voucher. In order to get through the food line, you're going to need to either have this food voucher or your race number. What's going to happen is you're going to come up to the food line, a volunteer is gonna put a check on your, on your number and you're gonna to get to sample some of the best race food in the business. We always do breakfast burritos because they are awesome and we've got a great uh, vendor with El Burrito Mercado that will be coming out with very authentic race food. Next thing you're gonna have is you're gonna have your two race numbers. These are Tritat race numbers. The explanation and, the, and how they go on your body is all on the back here, okay? Notice the arrows meaning it goes up. These go on the outside of your arms. Okay? Just like any other temporary tattoo that your kid brings home from school. Just like that. Here and there. When in doubt, the little Manitou bear goes on top. You're going to get a bit of, a bit of information about optimal performance. Who we are, what we do. You're going to get a solicitation about our other races in our tri-series. Mini Man, Twin Cities Tri. You're going to get some information about Ameriprise Financial, one of our supporters. USA Triathlon is going to tell you about the most common rules that are violated. We are a USA Triathlon sanctioned event. 
There will be USA Triathlon officials out there. I suggest you read that and understand it. Some important things are, number one, you've got to have your chin strap on at all times you touch your bike, and you cannot wear headphones. Race map, in case you get lost or in case you want to pre-scout the course, great full-color race map identifying exactly what's going on. More solicitations from Minnesota Half Marathon, a great running event, and also Spine and Sport Institute, one of the great uh, facilities inside here. If you are a coach client or if you are a all-access member at Optimal Health Performance, you will also have one of these. It's a VIP card. What that means is that you're going to get front row parking. Look for a sign that's going to say VIP with your name parking. If somebody parks in your spot, we will not tow it, but we'll move the car and you will get to park front. Okay, so look for this in your packet. Before you leave packet pickup, if you are a current coached client for Optimal Performance or if you are an all-access member. If this is not in your packet, then tell the, volunteer, tell the person here at Packet Pickup and they will get one to you. If you have purchased an extra food coupon, meaning that your spouse or your kids want to come and have another trip to the food line, this will also be in your packet. If you wish to buy a food coupon for $10, you can also do that. So those will be available $10 cash or check here at Outmail Performance or at, uh, at the hotel for the race pickup. So you can have that extra food coupon. If you do not have one of these or a race number, you cannot go through the food line. We hope you're going to have a great day. Weather's supposed to be really hot, so drink lots of water. Uh, lots of great, great things going on. So we look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much for choosing our race. We know there's a lot of race options for you this weekend. And we really appreciate, appreciate you being out here. For that, we are doing our best job and putting our best foot forward for you.